Hi, Document Design students. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to fix a commonly occurring problem, which is the graphics and photos can get slightly distorted when you insert them and uh, try to fit them into a particular space. In this case, let me come up a little bit on our example. Uh, we have a photograph that's been inserted in a text box. Uh, it's nicely placed in the design, but it's a little bit distorted. Uh, it looks like the sides, uh, horizontal dimension, have, have been pressed in a little bit relative to the vertical dimension. So uh, to check to see, I, I right click on it, say Format Picture, go up to the Size tab, and sure enough, I see that the original height was 3.93, the original width was 3.13 inches, um, and that it has been squeezed a bit, but disproportionately on the height relative to the width. Uh, so that even though the lock aspect ratio here is checked, which it should be, um, we've gotten into a situation where if we keep changing it, it's still going to be uh, out of balance. Uh, so we have to reset it. You come over here to reset, you unlock that, uh, aspect ratio, you take off the relative to the original picture, uh, just to be sure that we're starting from scratch. We're back to um, our original picture. Now, notice I had to hit reset again, because once I took those uh, check marks off, uh, it again was not reading my intention correctly. It was giving me a, a, a lopsided picture. Uh, so you want to get, make sure that your 3.93 original height is the same as what it says up here, absolute height. You want to make sure your width, 3.13, is back up here in, in absolute. Uh, and you may have to hit the reset again after unchecking the box. All right, then you say OK. And that's not going to be the size you want, but you're starting fresh. You go back into it, format picture, size. And you remember that the smaller dimension previously, where it fit, was 51%. So we know that uh, about 50% is what we want. So let's, again, check the lock aspect ratio. Let's, again, check the relative to original picture size, which uh, makes things less confusing. If you don't check this, then every time you change it and you go back in here, it will be back to 100%. So if you're using this uh, widget to uh, do a kind of trial and error adjustment, it can get confusing. Uh, so you check the relative to original picture width. You come back down here and click until you get down to 50%, and then we'll make that our new starting point. Uh, you see that as this was going down, the width was going down as well because I had lock aspect ratio clicked. All right, I say OK, and that's about right. I could just leave it like that if I want to bump it up a little bit, I go back into the size tab, and you see I'm looking at 50% again, so I know that, okay, I'm going to try, oh, let's try 52%, okay, and then that's a matter of taste, whether you like that, or whether you like it to have even borders all around. You can see the difference is that if you go up to 52%, you don't have as much border uh, in your box on the right. Uh, and left as you do on the, or you have more on the right and left than you do on the top and bottom. Uh, so if I wanted to back up to get something a little more even, um, that's what I do there. I go back to my 50% just by hitting the, uh, the alt backspace key. All right, so anyway, be aware of this, that it's uh, trickier than it may seem at first. And uh, once you see that you've got a graphic that's... Uh, been distorted a bit, fixing it again as a matter of going into the size and making sure that you get back to ground zero by unclicking everything and hitting the reset button, which you may have to do twice depending on the order of your clicks. All right, I hope this helps.